Chris Sims, former NFL quarterback, um, talked about the approach uh, the Browns need to have moving forward. He's got to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. He's got a team here where he can make a run in the AFC playoffs in a big way because of this defense. But don't forget who brought you here. It's the defense, and they got to play through the D a little bit more. And within that, they got to manage Flacco just a little. It is a really fascinating season it's for amazing. them because of all the quarterback injuries. They're still nine and five right now, and like you just mentioned, they are thirty-first in the NFL in interception rate and they have the most total turnovers in the NFL. So completely opposite to how you would think you'd want to play with this defense. Just don't turn the ball offense. Don't turn the ball over. If you punt it, that's okay. They've done the exact opposite of that, and they're still 9-5. and five. I, it's, a, it's a crazy good. It's crazy amazing. And I could see Stefanski and the organization going, hey, our defense is that good. Maybe we can take those chances. Mm. My point would be, um, you're not going to do that in the playoffs against the best teams in football. That's the, that, you're not going to get away with that consistently. You might get away with it against the Bears, who are a young, talented team on the up, up and up, but you know, still not – primed and polished quite yet for playoff type football right yeah that is the big thing you know the, the, you're not going to beat the Ravens if Joe Flacco throws three interceptions you're not and again um Jacob the fair point about as you get into the playoffs the turnovers are a concern without question yeah, you can't continue. I think they've had like four games this year where they haven't lost the turnover battle, and a couple of them they just tied the turnover battle, so they didn't even necessarily win. Uh, yeah, I've been saying it all year, and I feel like a broken record. It, it, whenever anybody asks me for a key to a, to a victory this week, it always comes back to – not turning the ball over, like just being smart with the football, like average quarterback play. And Flacco has given us spikes above and spikes below in a couple of situations so far this year. But like, if you take out those three turnovers, you, you blew out Chicago. Like, I mean, you kept them in there with your offense, kept them in that game by setting them up for multiple scores there. And your defense even almost kept them out of the end zone, except they got eight, tries from inside the five on that one interception but like they were in goal in one after one interception and they took one back it's like if you can find a way i get it he's 38 there he's going to take chances he's a gunslinger that's fine i can take chances but if you can limit things to a turnover instead of three turnovers just think about the massive impact that 14 points that gets scored on them gets taken away because you're not giving it. You're not gifting it to the other team. And all of a sudden, you've got a lot of games where you can get some very comfortable margins. Oh, without question. I, I can't imagine, even, even the Dolphins or the Chiefs, can't imagine them putting together more than two drives of, you know, 65-plus yards against, you, you, you know, you might get a play where you break coverage. Mm -hmm. You're not getting drives. This defense just does not give up sustained drives.